Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be very exciting. I've got my good friend Tony Lewis with me. Hi guys. And as you can see, we have an M440i from Tony and Barry BMW and an M4 competition, the new one, G82 as a press car. And behind that, we've got a runway, but not just the runway because we've actually got a small handling circuit, which is really intriguing to me. Well, Joe, I've brought along the M440 Coupe you see here. I've got X Drive, which is going to be excellent on this slippery track today. Uh, and I've got 369 brake horsepower, 369 pound foot torque, 500 Newton meters for the new guys. Uh, and <laughs> I got zero to 62 in 4.5, but we know that's BMW's figures. I expect the car to be quicker than that today. And I've actually tested one of those with my uh, Racebox GPS, and I managed to get it around four seconds relentlessly. It was four seconds, four seconds, 4.1. So it's gonna be that fast on this surface. Whereas that, well, let's just talk about the G82 M4 competition a little bit. They start at 76 grand on the road, which is roughly 21,000 pounds more than that. It also has a three liter straight six twin turbo in it the S58, whereas that has the B58, producing 510 horsepower and 650 newton meters of torque. So quite a bit more torque than your car. But as we talked about, it's all about getting it down the road and that car is rear wheel drive. So some of you might call it a real BMW, an old fashioned BMW. There will be an X drive version out very soon, but at the moment today, rear wheel drive versus X drive. Before we take the cars out there, I just want to talk about where we are. We're actually at Drift Limits in London. So there's a link in the description below. Go and check that out because I didn't know about this place and I live about half an hour away. It's really cool. Check them out in the description. First thing, I'm going to jump in Tony's M440i. He doesn't know about this yet. I'm going to set some time lapse on this little handling circuit. I'm going to take two or three laps just to get used to the car. And then I'm going to push it to about 85%. Not too hard. I don't have a helmet and it's not about outright lap time. It's about being comfortable in the car. It will move around a little bit, but I'm going to try and be as tidy as possible. And someone's going to time my last flying lap. Then I'm going to jump in the M4 and see if I can hopefully go a little bit quicker. At the end of the video, we're going to jump in both cars and fire them down the runway a couple of times because I think I'm going to have a couple of excuses, Tony. Yeah, I think so. Tony, Key? Oh, you don't look too, too happy. <laughs> Let's get in the car. Okay, guys, here we go. I'm in the M440i of Tony's and I haven't driven one of these for a few months, so I'm going to take a couple of laps just to get used to it. Uh, I'm going to be using the paddle, so manual, and I'm going to have the sport traction, I think they call it, equivalent to the MDM, which I'm going to have in the M4. So the car's traction control is going to do some of the work. I'm going to do some of the work. S1, pull the paddle, M1, and off we go. Oh, let's just get this seat right. It's a nice little tight circuit, this one. Oh yes, you feel the weight this car. I've never had one of these out on track and wow, you do feel the weight pretty quickly. But it's gonna be interesting how this X drive puts its power down at corners like this. Oh, I mean, relentless. So we're just gonna build up. We're gonna take three laps, just building up. So there's one lap, you can see how short that is. I'm guessing it's gonna be about 35, 40 seconds. Got to be patient on the throttle through here. And I'm going to try and not take too many liberties with the track limits. <laughs> oh, rear end. A little bit of rear end rotation there. Good old BMW X drive. It's not about understeer, it's about oversteer. So we, we can feel where the grip levels are and I'm not going to go beyond them. So we're going to keep a nice tidy lap. So coming up to the start of our flying lap. Right, let's try and keep it very clean through here. Use the torque as a 
supposed to don't be too greedy through here. Build up base. <laughs> a bit understeer. <laughs> oh. Okay, so the tyres are already going off just after three and a half warm laps. Here we come. interesting to see what sort of times we've just managed to do it definitely felt like it was getting a bit sloppy on the third and final run in fact we have my good friend Jack from Auto ID here how's it going Jack yeah good to see you you didn't happen to time that last lap did you I did yeah oh, I mate. did and that was a that was a whacking 31.01 seconds 31.01 so 31 flat essentially essentially okay nice yeah it felt yeah, it felt, I said about 35 seconds. It started the tyres, everything started to overheat on that last yeah, lap. I was getting yeah. understeer and all sorts. So. And a bit of oversteer at the end. And a bit of oversteer <laughs> at the end, yeah, which is always good. Yeah, okay, thanks good. a lot, Jack. No worries. I'm going to go and jump in the M4 and uh, hopefully demonstrate that that's a faster car. Okay, guys, here we are in the G82 M4. I have MDM switched on, so again, it's going to allow me a little bit of slip and I'm going to use the lovely carbon paddles. This car, of course, now has the ZF 8-speed gearbox, the same as the M440i. It'll be interesting to see what the ratios are like. Let's, uh, let's head on out. Again, I'm going to take it easy for three laps and then build up the pace. Instantly, this feels like a completely different car. Like, totally different. Yes, I can feel that it's rear-wheel drive, but let's get some heat in those tyres. The front end, oh, and it's pace in a straight line. Yeah. This is what I thought, this is why this test is interesting, because although the M440i might run it very close in a drag race around a circuit like this, Front end grip is just unreal. Unreal on a totally different stratosphere. a lot more just because this car was a lot faster I'm guessing that's going to be more like a 27 and a half 28 seconds the amount of extra grip this car had it was night and day honestly the front end especially just gave you so much confidence so I'm guessing it's gonna be around 28 seconds let's see what my good friend Jack says I'm guessing 28 seconds 28 seconds 28.4 <laughs> it just felt like on a different, I mean, completely different animal. It, it looks on a completely different level, completely different level. And obviously if you had a tire he just lines up a bit, <laughs> oversteer all over. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, mate, yeah, much quicker. You can see, visually you can see. It's just, you know what, the biggest difference I found was the lack of front end grip in that car after mm. two or three laps, suddenly there's nothing. Yeah. So you couldn't push it because you had no brakes and no steering. This Whereas like, in this. It looks a lot, plant, a lot more planted as well. There's a lot more body roll on the 440. So what's that? That's two and a half seconds, right? 
two and a half seconds over 30 seconds so that's five seconds over a minute that's so that's 10 seconds over a two minute circuit yeah. that's a big time difference so um so even if this car does get smoked down the uh, drag race i think it's done itself proud up to this point so um yeah next thing is the drag race cheers jack that's thanks right. a lot Okay guys, here we are on the drag strip. It's gonna be about 300 meters, so about a fifth of the mile, not quite a quarter of a mile, but we should be able to achieve just over 100 miles an hour. As I say, it is a little bit damp out there, not making excuses, but I think the X-Drive's gonna launch pretty hard off the line. Tony Lewis is there. I should add, I haven't got a competitive bone in my body, but today, today, Mr. Achilles, this is the day. Jack from Auto ID is out there, so here we go. Down off the start. Oh, and the poor boy eyes off. Oh, we're in front of the M4, baby. He's not going to catch us. And now we're reeling him in. Oh, oh my God. Victory for the M440. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? Tony, you couldn't make that up. Honestly, mate. Honestly, it just went. I'm going to go over to Rolini now and just see what he thinks, uh, who crossed the line first, because I just, I couldn't call it. It was so close over the line. Oh, it's got to be the M440, baby. We were off the line like a scolded cat. No, by car. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, so my good friend John Hallbrook's just showed me that across the line, it was in fact the M440 that did it just by a car length. But that's not too bad, because about 50 meters down the m440 was gone and we did reel him in we just got to try and get a better start so let's see round two here we go wow you say it's all about the traction in your michelin pilot 4s's i will add i'm on bridgestone taranzas guys i mean middle of the road tire or what i've got cold play on my car he's got billy eilish right here we go guys second run just waiting for jack to give us the thumbs up could see the horsepower coming that time oh you had me really quickly obviously had a bit more heat in the rear tires and something you might not know about these new g80 and g82s tony is they actually launch when you activate launch control they launch in second gear that's uh yeah that's astonishing in that case right well let's uh let's have a third one for um for good luck um but i think that was that was a pretty close run and the conditions have dried up a little bit so we'll have one more uh, for shits and giggles. Okay, here we go. Last and final run. Jack is going to give us the starting orders. Tony, I've got massive amounts of wheel spin and just the car, the diff did such a good job and the traction control of just sorting it out. I wasn't going left and right, but it was just about keeping you in pitch. I think I might have beaten you. Buddy, buddy, that was really, really close, really close. I thought I had you, I was off the line and just got you at the beginning, but towards the end there, that was it. You were just back in it. But I think I almost ran out of road. I actually had a little brown, code brown moment. <laughs> Guys, well, that was the, last and final run oh look at that so half a car length yeah. wow that was close did you get me on the line just half it was really again it just i just got away before him and you can see like it comes level yeah. and then this i don't know if it's the gearing but this seems to pull away just for a second mm. but then that power just comes in it's it like goes weird it must be the gearing between the two. Oh my God, look, that's a fag paper. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed that comparison. I think it's a bit more interesting than just running the two cars down a runway. 
it's pretty obvious that the M440i is very quick out of the gates, as you would expect, X drive and all. But this car, it launches in second, does a very good job of finding grip. And once it does find grip, once you've selected third gear, it's on a mission and it really reels that car in. But value for money, 21 grand less, the M440i off the average set of traffic lights is probably going to be as quick, if not quicker. It's only once you get to big speed, sort of 70, 80 miles an hour onwards, this just reels it in and wow, it's fast. Very, very fast. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. There'll be more videos like this coming on the channel very, very soon. Take it easy and I'll see you soon. Great little car, the M440. I tell you what, for something that's £20,000 cheaper, there's not a lot in it. So don't ever feel this is the little brother. It's the little brother. Who am I kidding? Good? That was so much fun, buddy. <laughs>